Hey y'all, welcome to my channel and welcome to another grocery haul. <sighs> y'all, it is snowing like crazy and I went to place my online grocery pickup order. No pickups today, tomorrow, like not until middle of the day, end of day Thursday. So I had to go into the grocery store. So I think it's probably needless to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. Low spend January out the window. Like online grocery pickup is the best thing ever because it 100% will help me keep on budget. Because if I don't have to have something that week and I'm over budget, I will take it out of my cart. No big deal. We go in the store. I had a nice little list. There's a lot of things on this table that were not on my list. Now, not only was I in there, but Riley and Aiden were with me. Um, so we got a few things that weren't on the list, but it is what it is. It's also a snow day, kind of, sort of, fingers crossed, hopefully it's a snow day. It's just started to snow within the last few hours, but it's supposed to snow like six to 12 inches. That's a big range. But where we live, like we only get a few bigger snows per year and sometimes even one bigger snow per year. So we're not really equipped to keep up with it and a lot of our roads are back roads. So I work at a school, of course my kids go to school, my husband works from home. So this is kind of a preemptive snow day haul because we are going to need some snacks. We might be snowed in for a day or two. Justified? Yes. Um, but anyhow, got quite a bit of things. It was like $155. So yes, pretty far over budget for low spend January, but it is what it is. We got groceries, we got food. We're going to be fat and happy and all those things. So let me walk you through what I picked up this week in our grocery haul. Okay, here it all is as a whole. Just going to say my son is doing dishes. I never ask them to stop doing their chores so I can do my hobby. Um, so if you hear noise, it's going to be all right. So um, anyway, here's everything that we got. Let's break it down item by item. All right, this week we only got one gallon of milk. We still had a gallon left. So I only picked up the one that we needed. Um, then I also got two cereals. We probably only needed one, but I picked up two anyways. Riley's not even hardly been eating cereal. So, um, I got a Malto Mill Berry Colossal Crunch and a Malto Mill Cinnamon Toasters. These are both the smallest bags that they offer. They're like $3.48. Still not going to do prices. If y'all want prices, you have to let me know. But for the time being, I'm too busy. I'm not going to do prices if y'all don't care. Um, and then picked up some Ritz crackers. Um, again, snow day fun. I picked up something to go on the Ritz crackers. You'll see in a moment. Um, but it's going to be a great little lunch for tomorrow. Again, fingers crossed if we get to stay home. Um, picked up a big thing of applesauce. One of my favorite snacks is a slice of bread with peanut butter and a big bowl of applesauce. Wanted that the other night after I had done some schoolwork and there was no applesauce. So now we have a big old thing of applesauce again and I am happy about it. Okay, got some celery cause you know, buffalo chicken dip and I still never made sweet and sour chicken that I got celery for, celery for last week. So had to replenish that. And a two pound block of great value extra sharp cheddar cheese. We go through the cheese in this house big time. Picked up some veggies for a salad. Um, some lettuce for specifically taco salad and then of course the base for our salad we're going to have one night in the coming week. Um, some sugar snap peas, some broccoli and cauliflower medley, and some mushrooms. Um, and then we'll uh, boil some chicken and have that with it. Also grab some avocados for both the salad and the taco salad. Um, these were a great price, like $2.48 and they are perfect ripeness right now um the rest were like rock hard and we'll be having both of these meals within the next couple of days so um they're gonna be perfect okay this was one of the things aiden said uh can we get oreos and i'm like sure and then this found its way into the cart it was uh, almost five bucks but it was on sale so there you go big o huge party size oreo but we love some oreos in this house and we've not gotten them in quite a while so justified of course this is the thing i got for the ritz crackers so i got this for the lock-in we loved it i got it for my classroom party we ate the leftovers and then i got it for one day for us to have just as a snack and we ate it like christmas day or something 
I can't remember, um, just like as our lunch and it was perfect. So I thought we'll have some crackers and cheese and summer sausage as a lunch tomorrow if we get our snow day. Um, and it'll be amazing. Um, two packs of black olives for our taco salad. And where did I leave off up here? Um, French onion dip. This is another snack. I've, I'm pretty known to say I'm not a snacky person, but since I've been doing homework and school and the family's all at ball games, I've been eating more like snacks for dinner. So, um, that's one of the things I like is French onion dip with like ruffled chips. Um, garden vegetable cream cheese spread. This is so good on any kind of bagel. And I bought all those bagels last week, but we were almost out of this, I didn't realize. So just got some more of that for those savory bagels we picked up last week. Got some curry powder. I do wanna make some um, curried chicken salad. Um, I have that recipe somewhere on my channel, but it's one of my absolute favorite recipes and it just sounded good. And I'm pretty sure I'm out of curry. So I just picked it up because I was on the spice aisle. Uh, it is winter and I love 15 bean soup. So I picked one of these up, just didn't have one. I don't have a plan when to make it, but since I saw it, I grabbed it and I'll be glad to just have that in my pantry for a cold day that we need a quick meal or not a quick meal, but a nice hearty meal. It's a crock pot meal. Okay. And then brown sugar. I could not remember if we had brown sugar or not, and the kids want to make cookie dough, edible cookie dough, so I picked that up to make sure we had brown sugar for that. Um, orange rolls. So again, if we get snowed in, or possibly like Sunday morning if we don't get snowed in, um, we like having some cinnamon ro rolls, orange rolls. Um, so we picked those up as a treat. Again, this is stuff I don't normally grab, but since we were in the store and it was in front of my eyes, um, I picked it up anyways. And then I picked up some mini chocolate chips again for the chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, we like these great value mini chocolate chips. They're delicious. Okay. Picked up some great value pepperoni to snack on, but also might make some pizza bread. So I just used some garlic bread, put a little sauce and cheese and pepperoni on there, put it in the oven. It's so good. And then a pack of diced ham, making uh, potato soup with this tonight. So I'll use probably at least half of it for that. And then we might do omelets one night with it as well. Okay, all the way back up here at the top, picked up some more on the border cafe style chips. Um, those are just our tortilla chip of preference and they're just good to have on hand for chips and salsa. Uh, of course, buffalo chicken dip and who knows, whatever else. And then a pack of Doritos, which just found out we already had a pack that Scotty opened today, but that's all right. Um, they'll be fine to have on hand. And then um, update. So when I went to Sam's Club a few weeks ago and got those sausage whatevers, the family didn't really like those. They were more like a bun and not a biscuit. They like these on a biscuit. So just FYI, if you were thinking about getting those ones from Sam's, they did not like them as much as these Tennessee Pride biscuit ones. So there's that for you. Um, and then I got two creamy Italian because taco salad and it's a staple in our house. So I wanted to make sure we had plenty for our taco salad. And then I got this buffalo wing sauce. This is what I use for my buffalo chicken dip and it's delicious. So grabbed one of those. Grabbed these for Sunday school, so a pack of the iced. I don't really prefer the iced. I prefer the glazed, but this is all they had. But the big honey buns, and then a pack of the um, chocolate and powdered donuts. And sadly, these have both gone up. They used to be $3.50, and now they're $4.38. So that's a sad day when our cheap breakfasts have gone up almost a whole dollar a piece. And then, of course, again, I was in the store. This was on clearance. It was normally $17.50, and it was $7.50, so $10 off. Um, and we've been having um, coffee in our youth group room. And so I thought, well, we'll try it here. If we don't like it, we'll take it to youth group. If they don't like it, I'll take it down to the Airbnb. So it'll get used up. But for $7.50, I thought that was a pretty good price. I mean, it's a great price for um, Starbucks K-Cups but I didn't say what it was called. Um, honey and Madagascar vanilla. Sounds pretty good. So I'm excited to give that a try. 
And then Dawn dish soap, we are just very, very low. So I picked up a big bottle of that to refill our like upside down squeezy bottle um, that we keep onto the countertop. A pack of paper plates. We have not had paper plates in so long. And so I just wanted to get a small pack just to have, because it is nice to have paper plates um, on hand. Uh, then I picked up a six pack of cranberry juice just to have on hand. Um, I don't know. It's just a good cleansing juice. So just figured I would pick up a pack of that. And I almost just got a bottle and then this was barely, barely a dollar more, I think. So I just picked up the six pack. That way we can just open one bottle at a time to have that on hand. And then the last thing from Walmart was a five pound bag of potatoes. Again, I'm making potato soup. I probably have enough potatoes on hand for that, but it would probably deplete what I have on hand. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of potatoes on hand. And then lastly, I grabbed these Lay's potato chips, but I had to stop at Dollar General because I forgot to get chips to go with my French onion dip. So stopped at Dollar General and grabbed these. They were $3.60 for one pack, this teeny tiny little pack of chips. But, but their Christmas stuff was a quarter a piece. No matter what it was, Christmas, whatever price was, it was a quarter a piece. So I picked up several things. Like I got six of these for the church. Got this little thing for my tiered tray. I mean, that was four bucks and I only paid a quarter. So I'm not gonna show you all. I might show it in my weekly vlog. If you wanna see that, pop over to my weekly vlog and you can see what I picked up on Christmas clearance from Dollar General. Okay, so that's going to do it. That's everything I picked up this week from Walmart and one thing from Dollar General. Um, hopefully another thing that I'll do on my snow day is maybe finally take down my Christmas decorations. It will be a sad day for me. I love my Christmas decorations. I don't want them to go. But y'all, it's, it's January 24th. We are nearly a month removed from Christmas. It's probably time as much as I hate to say it. So anyhow, if you enjoyed this grocery haul, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Um, if you see anything on this table that you've not tried and want more information on, or give me some ideas for easy meals. Scotty's probably getting a little bored of the things that I cook from time to time. Y'all see taco salad all the time in this haul, right? Although, little secret, I don't think my family will ever get sick of taco salad. So Scotty is literally in there shaking his head no. Uh, so anyhow, thank you for coming along with me today. If you have not yet, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. We're getting oh so close to that thousand number. It's really exciting each week as my family grows and grows and grows. So thanks for coming along with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.